happy Friday. It's Alex going live. I'm just hanging out on my couch on this Friday. I have my dog. I have my tea. Very relaxed, not formal, not corporate, uh, super laid back, casual, because I want to talk about one of my favorite topics, which is why operations and processes and systems are not scary. So many people, especially people who are more creative minded or what draws them to their work is the big picture mission and their passion for it. Uh, they think that words like processes and systems um, are very restricting, that they just get in the way. It's just the tedious stuff. It doesn't affect their work. They just want to do the stuff that they have to do um, and you know, leave that the nitty gritty stuff for somebody else. Um, those words sound really intimidating. If you think of processes, Maybe you think of, you know, a manual this big that has like screenshots on like press this key and go to this and, and really small, tedious things. Um, or maybe you think about really stupid, redundant steps that you have to follow for some basic business functions. And, you know, maybe there's a process that you have to do in your workplace that hasn't been updated in a long time. So it's sort of out of date, but nobody thinks to question it. Um, and, you know, operations, if you talk to somebody and say, oh, you know, what's what are the operations like at your workplace? And they're usually like, I don't know. That doesn't affect me. I don't I don't deal with that. Somebody else deals with that. So I would like to give an image makeover to these concepts because we all deal with them all the time. And the more you uh, maybe not understand, but the more you're open to learning about them and to letting them experience, uh, letting them affect you, the happier it will be. Bye, Lindy. So first, what are operations? Operations is everything that happens behind the scene to make a business or workplace happen. It is uh, the connecting the dot, the you know making sure that you have the right technology so that everybody can do what they need to do, making sure that you have the right equipment and supplies and space, um, making sure that you have people in the right positions to get things done, making sure that workloads are balanced. Um, and, and everybody, you know, is able to do their work. That's all it is. It's just that behind the scenes stuff that, uh, that ties every, all the different functions and people in a workplace together. That's operations. Oh, hey, Andy. Um, all right. So then process. It's not a giant manual. It's not an overly complicated series of steps. A process is just how you do the things that you have to do anyways. That is all it is. It's just how you actually do things, the steps that you take or the information that you need. It does not need to be complicated. It can be, it can be a checklist. Uh, this morning I was on a podcast and, and one of the hosts was a videographer and was talking about all the things that she has to remember to bring with her um, when she's going to meet a client. And she's like, oh, I'm always going through my head of thinking, am I forgetting this? Am I forgetting this? And I said, well, do you have a checklist? And she said, oh, that would really help. A, a checklist is a process. You know, saving, your, saving links to sites that you go to very often so you don't have to remember or search for them, that's a process. Um, labeling the folders on your, your hard drive or your shared drive uh, so you know where to find them, that's a process. It's, it's what makes it scary to some people is having to think about how you do things and actually uh, commit yourself and, and make some decisions. But the way I look at it is it's all things that you're gonna be doing anyways. So why not do it in a way that is gonna be most effective and most efficient and that really resonates for you and your team? So if you have old or outdated things that you're doing at work, maybe you can question them. Maybe you know there's a form that you physically have to fill out and bring over to somebody because that's just how it's always been done. Uh, maybe now that's something can be emailed or maybe you're now using some collaboration platform and you can just have a function on there. Their processes constantly need to be updated and revisited. Um, they are not static things, but I promise they will help you. Um, and for, you know, for people who are creative, they help you only spend your creative energy on the things that deserve it. You don't need to spend a whole lot of creative energy trying to remember what you need to bring with you for a presentation 
or trying to remember um, what all the steps are for completing a proposal or putting a proposal together. Um, a lot of those things are, are just pretty basic steps that have to happen and there's not a lot of variation from proposal to proposal or you know presentation to pre presentation, whatever. So if you just say this is the way I do it and here are my reminders and, and, that, and here's the definition, that's it, you never have to think about it again. The last word I wanna talk about is systems. And that's just how everything fits together. So, you know, an, oper an example of sort of operations and systems in your workplace, let's say your company, uh, you have five people and all of a sudden you're gonna have seven people. All right, well, you need to make sure that you're adding people to um, whatever shared network or Dropbox or you know, make sure people have email accounts. That's operations. Um, but then you need to make sure that on those platform platforms, they can access the tools they're going to need and they can connect to the people that they're going to connect with. Those are systems, just piecing together the different parts. So chances are everything you do is affected by process and systems and operations. You just don't realize it. But like I said before, if these are things that you have to deal with anyways, why not spend a little bit of time to make them work for you? They do not have to be scary. They do not have to be complicated. You probably already have a lot of expertise because you've been doing this stuff. So just make it a little bit more deliberate. Let me know if you have any questions. I would be happy to do another video or talk with you offline. Thanks, have a great weekend.